let us discuss this example so in this example we have a scalar field and we had to find its directional derivative at a given point 2 comma 4 and in a direction of 2 comma 2 so see let us write the given information first what is the given function the function is x log y plus y log x plus y what is the given point provided 2 comma 4 and what is the direction they have mentioned it is 2 comma 2 so we have to find directional derivative right we have already seen its definition but see using gradient also we can easily find directional derivative and we are going to do the same thing here so see a directional derivative we denote in this way du f of a directional derivative of f at a in a direction of u and that relation is del f of a dot u so using this relation uh, between gradient of f and directional derivative we can easily find directional derivative so let us let us focus on gradient so for gradient we need to calculate partial derivatives first let us find partial derivatives now deba f by deba x what is partial derivative of f with respect to x so directly i will write here okay so it's very simple addition subtraction if there we can take separate separate partial derivatives constants we always take them outside let us do we are taking partial derivative with respect to x so y is constant log y is constant i am writing as it is okay derivative of x is 1 plus so now y is constant derivative of log x is 1 by x okay derivative of y y is constant derivative is 0 so we have here log y plus y by x right after that i will calculate partial derivative of f with respect to y deba f by deba y so it's a derivative with respect to y x is constant right derivative of log y is 1 by y plus log x is constant getting derivative of y is 1 so 1 into the log x you will have log x and the last one derivative of y is 1 okay so now we will find values of partial derivatives at point a at point a so for the value of partial derivative what is point a here 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 that means we have to put x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 let us see what will happen if i put x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 4 here we will have log 4 correct here y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2 see basically log 4 means log 2 square here 2 2 will get cancelled we will have 2 so you know that if 2 is a power okay of any power if you have in log so by property of log that power will come before log so here also i can do the same so 2 log 2 plus 2 so the value of dy by dy x at a we have got this one so now dy by dy y at point a so this is equal to dy by dy y what is point a here uh, 2 comma 4 so let us put uh, value of x and y here what will i have then x is 2 y is 4 getting x is 2 y is 4 plus log x is 2 and last one is 1 so 2 by 4 that means 1 by 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 2 plus log 2 so in this way we have got values of dy by dy x and dy by dy y at a so therefore we can easily find gradient of f at a there is no more space to write so make a screenshot of it then we will go further okay so del f of a is equal to dy by dy x of at a dy by dy y value at a so therefore what is its value we have calculated it is 2 log 2 plus 2 correct and dy by dy y of a it is 3 by 2 plus log 2 okay so let us remove it it is not required now see now directional derivative of f at a in a direction of u we denote it in this way du f of a and the relation is del f of a dot u so its value just now we have calculated its values uh, let me write that thing 2 log 2 plus 2 and 3 by 2 plus log 2 right dot dot product is there what is our u u is 2 comma 2 
you know well how to find dot product okay how to find the value of dot product first component into first component that means 4 log 2 plus 4 plus second component into second component so 2 2 will get cancelled 3 plus 2 log 2 so we can easily add them tell me what will you get this is 4 log 2 plus 2 log 2 that means we will have total 6 log 2 plus 4 plus 3 that means we will have 7 right so this is a required answer make a screenshot of it after that we will stop thank you